Hey everybody, it's FemTuber, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite game of all time, Earthbound. <laughs> So everybody knows that Earthbound's my favorite game of all time. That's not a secret. That's not something that I have never talked about. Like everybody knows it comes up so often. And uh, I just had this sort of um, feeling that I was like, I need to replay Earthbound. So recently I decided I'm gonna play it on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna play it on the, the Nintendo Switch Online cause it's on there uh, way easier than playing it on my Super Nintendo or on the, uh, the classics. So I was like, Kate, I'm going to replay Earthbound. And <laughs> part of me was not nervous, but I haven't played it since 2013, I think. So I think it's been about 10 years. And um, I knew I was going to love it, but I was just scared that like, I would either like, you know, there'd be parts that like bothered me or like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just, really excited, but kind of like, because it's my favorite game. And you know how you always say, oh, I think this is my favorite game, but you haven't played it for years. And then you play it again and you're like, eh. not that I would say that to this. So there's no way I would ever say eh about Earthbound, but I, I, there are movies that, you know, I've watched and you think it's, it's not maybe not my number one anymore. Maybe it's number 10. It's good, but it's not, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. I am happy to report that I played Earthbound again from beginning to end, finished it, saw the end credits roll, and it still remains my very favorite game of all time. Nothing can replace it at this point. Uh, you know, I wanted to play it to sort of say like, yeah, is it truly my favorite game of all time? Or is it really, you know, is is, is Dragon Quest XI my favorite game of all time? Is um, Yakuza Like a Dragon my favorite game of all time? Because those are very high up for me. They're like right below Earthbound. So I wanted just to make sure and yes, it very much is my favorite game of all time. There is no way anything is replacing it. So yes, it has nostalgia going for it. I don't have nostalgia with Dragon Quest XI. I don't have nostalgia with Yakuza Like a Dragon or Mario Kart 8. That's fine, but yeah, it does add some points to the love. However, take away the nostalgia. Um, Earthbound is amazing. It's it's honestly one of the best games ever. And I've played a lot of games. I've played a lot of JRPGs. I've played a lot of amazing platformers. I've played a lot of great games, period. I've played a lot of the classics. Sure, there's a couple in there. I know I'm very embarrassed to say I've never played, but overall I've played a lot of games. So I feel like I have uh, some credibility. You know, I've played some of the big heavy hitters and still nothing, nothing is as good as Earthbound to me. I would objectively say that it's a great game subjectively it's my favorite game and the best game of all time so i'm saying that subjectively but i would say objectively it's a solid game whether it's your favorite that's fine it doesn't have to be but i would say there's no way you could play that and be like that game sucks like it's a really good game it's like saying final fantasy 7 sucks like no it doesn't it's a really good game might not be your favorite but it's it's a really good game or you know what I mean? Like Ocarina of Time doesn't suck. It's a really good game, even if it's not your favorite. So I'm just, I think it's objectively a very solid, excellent game. Earthbound is so much. It's so much. It, it, it makes me beam because uh, it's so, um, it gives you this great feeling. Uh, at least it does for me. It gives me this great feeling when I'm playing it. It's so cinematic. It's so interesting when it, the opening scene to me is one of the most, I know it's not that big of a deal compared to cinematics today, but there's something about the opening cinematic in Earthbound where it shows it's nighttime. You can hear like crickets chirping. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of ominous. And it's just panning over this, this sort of small American town and it's showing everything you can see. Everything's closed. The neighborhood is still, it's quiet. Everybody's sleeping. And then something happens, something happens that is very out of the ordinary and it's very strange. This is modern day. This is not some weird steampunk world. This is not medieval. There are no mages here. You know, there's no dude with a sword the size of a door. Like this is, <laughs> this is just a normal kid in the nineties in the United States. That's what it is. I know it's Eagle land, but it's obviously the U S and, um, when I was a little kid playing it, 
I know I'm in Canada, but it's very similar to the U.S. So obviously I'm looking at it thinking like, oh, this looks like some, you know, my neighborhood or whatever. So very relatable, very cool. But playing it now, I don't want to talk about it through the eyes of when I first played it. I'm trying to talk about it through the eyes of me now. And uh, still just incredible. I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. I'm so interested. I'm so invested. What is going to happen? And yeah, it's solid. It's so much fun. I was so excited to see what happens next, to explore, to walk around the towns, to go anywhere, to go in a cave, to go in a dungeon, to go into a factory, to go, you know, in some weird place. It just, it's so bizarre. It's a strange, um, it's a perfect representation of the 90s. It's gross, it's icky, but that was cool in the 90s. Things were nasty, things were smelly. That was like the campaign for this and it was a terrible campaign, but that was the 90s. And it's so much, it's so much uh, wacky stuff and really interesting characters and strange things and strange worlds and, and seeing how all these characters meet up to save the world. It was such an interesting experience playing it now. I absolutely loved it. I will definitely replay it in the future again as well. This is not something I want to replay over and over. I don't tend to replay games ever, but with something like this, yeah, it's my favorite. So it, I was due and oh my gosh, like I, I was, I'm almost more enamored with it now because I just, it was like a, I was not a reality check, but it was very much like a, yep, it, you know, it still is the best. It, it still is. Like, I, I don't think there was a moment I was playing it where I was like mad. You know how there's always like one crappy part in a game you really like where it's like, not this part, like I hate this part or there's a stupid puzzle here that shouldn't be here. I don't know, I didn't really find that with Earthbound. There was nothing I hated. Everything felt okay. And yeah, is it grindy? Yes, but it's very, it's just a copy of Dragon Quest. So if you like Dragon Quest, you'll like Earthbound. Cause I mean, it's not Dragon Quest setting, but it's Dragon Quest everything else. Dragon Quest gameplay, Dragon Quest, uh, like if you die, you can't, you don't just die. Like you have to actually go to a hospital, um, you know, get your character to get back to life. Like in Dragon Quest, you go to the church, get them uh, resurrected, kind of like that. So very similar to Dragon Quest in almost every way. And I love, that's why I like Dragon Quest. And yeah, it was very much a confirmation for me. Like, yeah, I still absolutely love this game. There's so much about it. It's just so weird. When you're playing it, you know, it tells you everything that's happen, happening. Like the, an enemy will attack you and it'll say something like, uh, you know, you feel silly right now, so you're not gonna attack. Or like just weird stuff that's like so bizarre to me that I think is such a neat touch to this game. Like so much effort went into this and you can really see it and it holds up brilliantly. I did not find it dated. Yes, the item system sucks. But other than that, I actually didn't really think it was that big of a deal. I've, I've always remembered thinking the one negative thing about Earthbound is the item management system. And I don't know, it wasn't that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. It was a little irritating at times, but like the game is old. I mean, it's from 19, well, it came out in 1995 here, uh, 1994 in the, in Japan. So, um, yeah, like the game is old, but it's also incredible. Like, this was such a great time. Like, you imagine all the RPGs that came out within this, you know, couple, two, three year span. Like, we were getting things like Final Fantasy VI and Super Mario RPG. And, like, these are, like, amazing games. And it's just so cool uh, playing it now. And, you know, the visuals are incredible. They're incredible to me. They are so vibrant and fun and exciting. And they're cinematic and... The music, don't even get me started. It's the best soundtrack, I'm sorry. It is so creative and cool and fun. I could listen to Earthbound all day, like so many of the tracks. They're just, it's the kookiest weird thing, but like heartwarming. When I hear it, I am immediately transported back to my grandma's house. Um, I don't know why, because I'm sure I played it a lot at my own house, but for some reason, uh, it's nostalgic and I, I kind of assume, I kind of, uh, when I think about the 90s, I do think about going to my grandma's house a lot because I did go there a lot. And I used to bring my Super Nintendo in this old suitcase for some reason, like an old school suitcase with like latches. Like, I don't know, I still have it. And that's what I packed up my consoles in when I took them to people's houses. And I would pack up my Super Nintendo, put the games in there, and I'd sometimes have the guidebook or any sheets or any notes I'd have. And I'd go to my grandma's house and it was 
It was just really magical. And so when I hear the music, I'm immediately transported back to her living room playing Earthbound or playing whatever it was, Super Mario RPG, anything like that. So much fun and just having a great time, eating powdered donuts, uh, doing whatever I wanted and having like the best summer. So I sometimes I think, man, 1995 summer, that's probably when I played Earthbound for the first time. And yeah, it's incredible and it still holds up. I, I loved it. Like this is such a great game. It's amazing and I'm so happy that I played it again and I still feel the same way. I love JRPGs, like a lot. I think they are just brilliant. They're, it's such a cool genre, I just love it. I love adventures and that's a big thing for me. I love adventures. There are JRPGs that I love that aren't as much of an adventure, like for example, Persona 5. You don't really, you're not traveling around the world. There are different dungeons. It's a different thing entirely, but it's obviously very much a JRPG. Just not, you're not traveling on a world map. It's, it's different. It's all in the same area. I like that because the story was so strong, but overall, I love JRPGs that are adventures where you're going all over the place. Like Earthbound, like Pokemon games, like Dragon Quest. Like Final Fantasy, these are games where there's a huge world map, you go to different towns, but that's the thing I love. I love going to different towns that are unique. Like, um, you know, you go to, um, like in Earthbound for instance, you start out in a smaller town, but then you go to this big town that's supposed to be like a New York foreside, right? And it's like, whoa, there's so much here. It's bustling, it's completely different. Uh, but then you'll end up in a completely different area in Earthbound that is, you're not even in the U.S. anymore. You're in Scaraba and it's like, okay, now I'm in the desert and there's there's pyramids here and it's really fun. And I love that in Dragon Quest where you'll go to like a desert town or there's like a wintry town where it's snowing and there's ice things. And I don't know. I know that's cliche and it's kind of overdone because in Pokemon it's the same kind of thing. There's always the ice town. There's always like maybe a desert town. There's always like a... I don't know, like a Midwest kind of town, whatever. But I love that. To me, it's a sense of grandiose and adventure. And I, I just, I absolutely love it. And I know that this video is just me saying, I love it over and over again. But isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what talking about your favorite game should be? Should just be constantly just excited and like sort of constantly being excited and beaming and being just wanting to share your love for something that you think is so great and yeah I know Earthbound's not everyone's cup of tea but I just think it's fantastic and nothing will top it like I've played some amazing games but somehow there's like this tiny spark this little flame of amazingness that I can't I've some other games just haven't captured for me and that's why replaying it was awesome because it was like yeah, it, it still is. This is still my favorite game. I, I replayed it and I thought not, nothing is as good as this to me. Like this is still number one. I can't replace it with any game because it's just simply, it, it is the best. It is the best game. And yeah, I like Mother 3 a lot. It's definitely a top, top 20 maybe. I don't know if it's in my top 10 anymore. I don't know, but it, it's definitely solid. Like great game, um, but it wasn't as much of an adventure. It kind of takes place in the same area and, and um, I played it later in life and I really love it, but it's, it, it's, it's no Mother 2. Mother 2, Earthbound, it's an incredible experience. I, uh, I just love it. I loved every moment of this. I was so excited actually when I was playing the game. I couldn't wait to play it every day. I was so excited. When is my Earthbound time? You know, that's what it's all about. When I was playing, you know, Dragon Quest XI, I was so excited to play that game. Uh, every like every you know second spent with it was fun there's no like when a game is a chore when a game feels like pain that's frustrating it's like reading a shitty book like this is when when every moment is pure joy that's when you know you found a favorite and yeah like i have other games that are you know they're not gonna beat earthbound but they're like very close they're like number two three four five right and those are like the best games you think about them and you you feel great when you think about them you're like oh earthbound and you're like yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. Or, you know, like I said, with Dragon Quest XI is another one that's very high up for me. And yeah, like that game was just pure magic to me. Like it's fantastic. And that's what Earthbound is. It's pure magic. It's pure bliss. It makes me feel like a kid again. It kind of checks every single box off. Well, it doesn't kind of, it does. It checks every box off for me. It's the best game of all time. And I love Earthbound. 
So that's me just reminiscing about Earthbound, replaying Earthbound, wanting to talk about replaying my favorite game of all time. And yes, it very much is still my favorite game of all time. It's never going to change. You can ask me when I'm an old lady and I will most likely say, yeah, Earthbound is my favorite game of all time because it's just, there's something about it. It's just the right amount of everything I'm looking for in a game. Actually, that's what I thought when I was playing it. I remember thinking, this has everything I want. Like whenever I'm playing a game, I'm always thinking, but does it have this like Earthbound does? Well, kind of, or a little, or like, you know, I'd give it a nine out of 10 in that category, but, but it's, it's not quite, it's not quite what Earthbound does for me. That's why it's my favorite game of all time. It checks off every box. It makes me feel absolutely amazing. It makes me feel incredible. I love it so, so much. It is, it is pure um, happiness in a box. <laughs> it's the best. It is the best, and that's my that's my rant. That is end of story. Earthbound's the best. Thanks for listening to me talk about my favorite game of all time. I will see you guys in my next video.